All right, we're looking at example three today. We did example one, example two yesterday. Here's example three. Use the GCF and the uh, distributive property to find the sum of 18 and 24. So you all, before you even got to this clip, you should have watched a pro uh, video on distributive property. So distributive property is what we what you just watched, but it's when you have a number sitting outside of parentheses and you distribute that through. So again, right next to parentheses is always multiply. So this is two times X. So I'll write that two times X. That's two times X. Yeah, I won't, let's not use an X. It's probably not a good choice by me. I'm going to call it N. So N plus three. Two times N is two N. And then we're going to go two times three. And two times three is six. So this is expanding the distributive property. So how can we use that with our GCF on 18 and 24? So we're going to build our uh, ladder. How about that 18? That looked really good. So what number goes into 18 and goes into 24? Well, I, I'm going to pull two because they're both even. Two goes into 18 nine times. Two goes into 24 12 times. And then I notice nine and 12, a prime number that goes into both of them is three. Three goes into nine three times and three goes into 12 four times. And then is there a prime number that goes into three and one or three and four? It's just one. So as you remember, that's one and done. So what is the GCF? If you remember as well, GCF is this vertical. So the GCF is two times three times one. In other words, two times three is six. Six times one is six. Our GCF is six. So how can I use six in the distributive property to show 18 and 24? The sum of these numbers. So what I'm saying is, I'm going to put it down here. 18 plus 24 is also equal to, take the prime number of six. So six times what would get you 18? Six times three. So I'm using this number here on the bottom. Then you could say six times what will get you 24. You can use this number. So I'm going to have plus 4. 6 times 4 would give me 24. So if I did the distributive property, 6 times 3 would give me that 18. And then 6 times 4 would give me that plus 24. And you can see how this expression is the same as this expression. So we used our GCF and we used distributive property. 